So I just wanted to show you this whole notion of using a gradient fill layer in Photoshop to sort of alter the mood a little bit. I'm really detail oriented and I like every pixel in this little frame here to be telling the same story. And where I ran into some problems after processing this photo and getting the right amount of depth and texture and contrast and color and everything just right, I didn't really, I tried to like it. <laughs> I just didn't like the shadows down in here. I like the shadows. I just didn't like how they turned out a little bit green. I think there's just so much yellow. There was just so much yellow from these lights and uh, the reflection on these bricks, which are kind of terracotta color, <clears throat> that somehow it combined with, I don't know what, and just sort of turned green. I didn't like that too much, but I didn't want to alter the rest of the photo. So I turned to the gradient fill layer, the magic gradient fill layer. You find that over here. See where it says create new fill or adjustment layer. And if you click on that, you get this pop up of all these options. And the one that I'm using is the gradient. And that looks like this. Now, if I were to, I'm not, I've already done this whole thing. So I'm just going to walk you through what I did. <clears throat> um, so I'm not going to actually change the color, but as you can see, it comes up default black, which you can make shades of gray. You can change the angle of it if you wanted it you know, over there or over there, you know, whatever, you can do whatever you want. Um, I wanted it down there because that's where the offending area is. You change the color and you just click on that to change the color. And then you've got certainly modes up here and then you can use various blending modes to change how this looks. It doesn't end, you know, this isn't going to do this to your photo. Anyway, I didn't use that. I just used the basic foreground to transparent um, solid 100%, but I changed the color. So I'll show you what that looks like. And if I, if I were to continue with this, I would, you know, fiddle around with it, get it the right color and click OK. But I'm going to click Cancel because I've already done it over here, what I wanted. So this was the gradient fill that I chose. And as you can see down here, I'll toggle back and forth. Uh, so you can really see it. But down here, it just changed it to a little bit. It's like I said, it's subtle. You can make it very dramatic if you want to. But I made it very subtle so that there it is without. Looks kind of greenish. There it is with. It's kind of a little bit more bluish, which I like. Blue is a complementary color to yellow or gold or orangey gold. Um, I also like the fact that we have blue up here in the sky and it's kind of balanced with the blue down here, but it's subtle. It doesn't change everything about the photo. It just makes the shadow um, what to my eye is a little bit better color. So there it is, and I'll show you what I used, you know, was this blue. So if you go here, it was this shade of blue, and uh, that's the one I chose, boom. This is the darker tones, these are the lighter tones, and you can create layers of color by adding. It gets complicated, so you don't want to do too many, in my opinion. But I have the darker blue here and the lighter blue here, because that way it's, it's like not one color. It's, a, it's, a blue, it's blue, but it has shades of it throughout, so it makes it more complex and layered like a fine wine, um, which is sort of typical to how I do things. So. I'm going to cancel out of there so that once again, there it is with, there it is without. And the other thing I did was, um, this is 18% opacity. I will show you what it looks like at 100%. So if I had 100%, that's the color it would be, and that's where it would be placed, and that's what you would see. So you can see, you know, a little more exaggerated what it looks like. I liked the 18% amount, and there you have it a subtle use of the gradient fill layer. I like using it, and you might too. Give it a shot. Let me know how you like it. Above all, have fun. <laughs>